Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Harding. We've got a great show for you today on multiple topics, so let's get started. Douglas County is celebrating its birthday all year round with monthly events and Douglas County Museum of History and Art is taking part in the celebration by opening a new exhibit entitled Our Past. Check out the ribbon cutting ceremony to start our community segment. Welcome to the Douglas County Museum and our exhibit that we're going to have a ribbon cutting for is our 150th sesquicentennial exhibit. We're excited about you seeing what has happened in our county over the past 150 years. Because we're in a 50s building, we have a reception after the ribbon cutting, but our food is a little quirky. It's all 50s a menu, so it's a little strange, but just enjoy. And here we come for our ribbon cutting, but first, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, the chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. And on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, we are so excited about the uh, releasing of this uh, exhibit today in honor of our 150 years. Uh, it feels pretty good to be 150 years old. I love it. This is so amazing. Douglas County, we're doing great things, and I would like to thank uh, Suzanne Hutchis Hudson and her wo wonderful board, Ms. Jerry as well, and is this the entire board behind me? Okay, some people. Thank you all so much, but this is an amazing day, uh, so stay tuned for all the great things that are coming down the pike this year, but again, happy 150th birthday. The Georgia Pet Foundation has a new PSA focusing on the spay and neuter of Georgia pets. Watch this PSA for more information. Pet overpopulation is a national problem. Georgia has some of the highest euthanasia rates in the country. With an area the size of Maryland without basics like animal control, rescues, shelters, or even veterinarians. The Georgia Pet Foundation provides statewide spay-neuter grants to organizations to help decrease pet overpopulation. Do your part to help. Purchase a Georgia Pet Foundation spay-neuter tag through your local tag office with proceeds going to support spay-neuter efforts in Georgia. Buy a tag. Save a life. Speaking of spay and neuter, don't miss the 5th Annual Spay and Neuter Fundraiser and Party happening on April 25th. More details to come. Next up on our education segment, here's a snippet of the performance from the 22nd Annual Middle School Honors Chorus Concert at First Baptist Church. Congratulations to all the middle schoolers involved. Thank you for sharing your talents and gifts with us. Keep it up. Now we move from music to art 
as teachers, students, and their families gathered at the Courthouse Art Gallery to showcase and celebrate their work. Communications and Community Relations Director Rick Martin briefly spoke with one of the art teachers during the reception to get his perspective on the event and its impact on the community. Hi, I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And we are here on the third floor of the Courthouse Art Gallery, where we're having a, a wonderful event that we're hosting uh, for the Douglas County School System to showcase their artwork with me is Mr. Cooper. Uh, what's your name, your first name? Eric. Right, Mr. Eric Cooper, uh, a teacher, art teacher, at Turner Middle School, is that correct? Yes, sir. And from what you were telling me, this was the first time, right? Yes, sir. How are you enjoying it so far? Man, I'm loving this school. The, um, the support from the county on is just, I, I don't have any comparison for it. Um, the school is extremely important. Uh, and, and, and integral into my what I do every day. They they are involved in what I do every day. But what's awesome is that it, it the waves go out from there, and um, and the county is extremely instrumental and supportive of what we're doing in our classrooms, which is awesome. Well, you know, we believe it's uh, you know we do all we can for the students, for the kids, you know, and I think I that's it. special. And speaking of students and and experiences, I encountered one just moments ago and I wish you had seen it. Uh, you were invited by a family uh, to take a picture with them with the artwork. Yes, How did that make you feel? Um, the, there really aren't any words for that. Uh, you know, when a student is that proud and um, it, it spreads on to the their family and their extended family, there there is there's nothing you say except for, you know, that is why I show up every day. Wow. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because, you know, especially I feel like in the arts, what we're doing is a part of human life. And it's part of why why we wake up every day. Oh, that's and, great. Uh, you know. And it's something I see that we all can help motivate, inspire, and encourage our students. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining, yes, sir. joining me. Appreciate it. It's 2020, it's an election year, and there's been a change to our voting machines. View this PSA from our elections department for all the steps from our government update. My name is Milton Kidd. I am the elections director here at Douglas County, Georgia, and this is your introduction to the new voting system that will be going live throughout the entire state of Georgia as a whole. And here in Douglas County for the March presidential preference primary will go live on March 2nd. This is the first station where voters will present their one of six acceptable forms of ID to our poll workers. The poll worker at that time will look up the voter and assign them the correct ballot. The voter at this time is going to be issued a voter access card. The voter access card will be how they pull their correct ballot style. This is the second station. The voter will present the voter access card that was created for them at the first station and pull their actual ballot to vote. The voter is able to take their ballot that they printed out and made their selections to the third uh, scanning station where your ballot is actually counted. The poll worker at this time will take your voter access card and allow the voters to scan in their individual ballot. Since this 2020 is approaching and Douglas County is gearing up to be counted and being counted is extremely important. Get more information here. What is the 2020 census? Every 10 years, the census records everyone living in this country. It's written in the Constitution and comes in a questionnaire that counts everyone who lives at your address on April 1st. The data can be used to inform funding for services like fire stations, schools, clinics, and representation that affect your community. Shape your future. Start here. Visit 2020census.gov. Connect Douglas is in full swing and running on the streets of Douglas County. To learn more about the bus service, watch this PSA for all the facts and details. 
In an effort to meet the growing transit and mobility needs of our county, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners has expanded transportation options for citizens with the Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service. Whether you're up for dining, shopping, working, or enjoying the many amenities of Douglas County, Connect Douglas's Fixed Route Bus Service will help to connect you to the places you want to go. Fixed Route means the bus will travel the same path and serve the same locations every day. There will be established stops along each route. However, the driver can pick you up anywhere along the route, provided there is a safe place to pull over and let you board. We will also offer flex route, which means by calling ahead, the bus can deviate from its route and pick you up at your location, provided you are within the perimeter of the area we have established for this service. For seniors and people with disabilities who cannot get to the established pickup points on the route, we will offer ADA paratransit, you must call ahead and make a reservation for this service. There is a simple certification process and additional charges may apply. We are so excited about the new fixed route shuttle system that we're bringing to Douglas County. To begin with, we'll be operating Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturdays from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. One-way fares are $2.50. You can pay with exact cash as you board the bus or purchase a multi-trip pass at the Douglas County Transportation Center located at 8800 Doris Road in Douglasville. Discounted tickets of $1 are offered to senior adults age 60 and older, students, and individuals with disabilities. A photo ID discount card will be issued after completing a simple verification process at the Douglas County Transportation Center. Individuals will use the discount card when boarding the bus or paying for a multi-trip pass. The vehicles are called cutaways and are more like vans than buses. Each cutaway can carry a driver, 12 ambulatory passengers, and two wheelchairs. The vehicles have a wheelchair lift, a bicycle rack, audio announcement system, a fare box, security cameras, and digital destination signs. The Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service will begin with four routes. Route 10 service area will include North Douglasville, the Boys and Girls Club, Arbor Place Mall, Walmart, Sam's, the Douglas County Health Center, and Douglasville Conference Center. Route 20 service area will include Douglas County Courthouse, Wellstar Hospital, West Georgia Technical College, Target Shopping Center, Georgia Highlands College, and the Douglasville Post Office. Route 30 will serve Thornton Road Walmart, Cobb West Business Park and Six Flags Industrial Park, Tributary Community and the Employment Hub, including the Amazon Fulfillment Center, West Rock, Medline, and Coloplast. Route 40 connects to Routes 10, 20, and 30 to provide service from Douglasville to the Lithia Springs area. This route will also provide a connection to Cobblink Route 30, which will provide a connection to the HE Home Smarta Station. For more information about Connect Douglas Fixed Route Bus Service and the many ways the Douglas County Division of Transit Services serves the citizens of Douglas County, please visit us online at connectdouglas.com or contact us at 770-949-7665. That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and online at DCTV23.com. We end our show with the monthly birthday celebration for seniors at the Woody Fight Senior Center. See you next time. If any of y'all don't know, I'm Sharon Johnson. I'm the director here at the Woody Fight Center. And I want to welcome you all on behalf, my behalf and also the staff. We are so glad you're here. We always enjoy our birthday parties. We also have our chairperson, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, and she has a few words for you. Good morning, February babies. <laughs> uh-huh. The weather is cold today, but that's a good sign that uh, we're going to have a fun month this month. So happy, happy birthday. And on behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, we wish you many, many more. Thank you. Okay, I will be coming around. Yes, by all means. <laughs> Let's have a round of, of applause here. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I will be coming around. I want your name, your birth date. Okay, 
your age if you want to give it, you don't have to, but also where you were born. We're always interested in where people are born and how they got to Douglas County. Mm -hmm. And we have found every single time that we are international. We always seem to have somebody that was born someplace other than the lower 48. So let me know about that too. So we're gonna get started over here. And John, you get to be first. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is John Grofe. I'm 30, uh, 77 years old. <laughs> Came from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. And moved down here 30 years ago, down Douglasville. Okay. But you were born in St. Louis? Yes. Okay. All right. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Conchita Hutchison, uh, 222. 37, I'm 83. Okay, and where were you born? Uh, Atlanta, Grand Park. Grand Park, okay. All right. All okay. right. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm Johnny Warmack, and I am 71, February 4th, 1949. <laughs> okay. And I was born in Eufaula, Alabama. <laughs> okay. All right. Happy birthday. Thank you. Eufaula. Okay, we're going to go, we go this, this way. way. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go, honey. <laughs> All right. My name is Bessie Smith, and I was born in Lexington, Mississippi, and I am 67 years old, and my husband is from Douglasville. That's why I'm here. He got you here. <laughs> yes, right. he did. Okay. <laughs> All right. Like, so what day is your birthday? My birthday is uh, February 11th. Uh, uh, 52, so okay. I'll be 68. All right. Uh, okay, we have another one. Happy You're birthday. All in red. We're, we're in red for the Valentine's. Oh, here. yes. It's my favorite color, also. Okay. My name is Rosalind Hart. Uh, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland. Mm -hmm. I turned 67 on February the 4th. And my birth date, my date of arrival, was February the 4th, 1953. Okay, very Happy good. Birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. My name is Shirley Oliver. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I moved to Douglasville 12 years ago and love it. My birthday is February the 19th. I'll be 66 years old. Okay, very good. Happy We're glad birthday. you love Douglas County. Yeah. Too. Yes. Happy Thank birthday. You. My name is Patricia Tate. I'm from California. Mm -hmm. My birthday is January the 27th, 1950 and I'm 70. Okay, right. Happy very birthday. good, yeah. very birthday. good. A lot of y'all should know this person right here, <laughs> one of my very favorite people. And what's your name? Sarge. <laughs> <I'm> Sarge. Sarge. <laughs> this is Sarge Fight. This is Woody's husband. Okay, mm -hmm. so we are certainly honored to have him here today. Thank he you. will come by every once in a while and see me. Uh, sometimes he just rides through the portico in the red truck with the dog. <laughs> well, lucky. With lucky. That's right. We're lucky. Okay, and how old are you, Sarge? 90 years old, uh, the 17th of this month. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Happy yes. birthday. Where were you born, Sarge? We forgot to put that in there. Okay, I was born in a great town of Tenga, Georgia. It was abbreviation for Tennessee and Georgia. It was on the Tennessee line. It's right on the line. Uh, right on the line. And we had 150 people that lived there, and I guess most of them are still there. <laughs> <laughs> One way or the other. One way or the other. Right. Right. Thank you. Okay. okay. I'm Therese Weber, and I'm not doing as good as Sarge. I'll be 82 on the 28th of February, and I was born in a blizzard in Roch Rochester, New York. Wow. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday. Don't, don't bring don't. any blizzards down here. <laughs> Please. Okay. Thank you. I'm Betty Cox. I was um, born in Albertville, Alabama. I've been over here since 1964. And I will be 71 on the 20th. Okay. All right. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Okay, my dear. Um, I'm Connie Tria. I was born in Dayton, Ohio. I moved here for a job. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'll be 82 on February 28th. 
All right. Okay. Happy Very good. Birthday. Very good. My name is Corrine Hanson. I was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and my birthday is 22842, and I will be 78. The oh, 28th. Nice. Happy good. birthday. I love this teal color. I'm Myra Quinn, and I was born in Morristown, New Jersey on February 17th, 1947. Okay. And, and um, this is my twin. <laughs> Oh, so we got we got both of you here, right? Twins. Oh, How that's about so that? cool. Yeah. Yes. We don't have that many twins that are members here. Uh huh. So yes. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Roberta Ed, uh, Edwards. Um, well, I was born in uh, New Jersey with Mimi, and um, she moved to Texas. I stayed in the Northeast, and I came down here last year to share an apartment with her. <laughs> oh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. Well, that is wonderful, and happy, 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 happy double birthday. birthday here. Double birthday. <laughs> okay. Yes. My name is Cristina Vega, and I was born in Costa Rica, at San Jose, Costa Rica. Yes. At February 13, 1954, and I'm six. I'm going to be 66. Okay, honey, you saved us when you stayed Costa Rica. Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah, she saved us. <laughs> we, we didn't lo lose our run there, so we thank you for that. Okay. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. My name is Brian Kumler. I was born on February 9th, 1963. I was born in Chevyville, Indiana, and I've been here in Douglasville, Douglas County, Georgia, since 1975. Wow. Okay, thank you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. You're ready, you're okay. ready. I'm Robert Coy and I've been down here since uh eighty four and I was born in Edinburgh, Indiana. And uh six sixty seven years old next week, February thirteenth. Okay, well, okay. And and you've that. developed the southern Slang, huh? Yeah, I think I had it before I got here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I practiced. You practiced yeah. before you came. That's good. I practiced. That's Happy good. birthday. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your service. I'm Carson Hudson. I was born on the banks of the Coosa River over in Talladega County, Alabama okay. mm -hmm. in 1930, February 17th. Okay. Uh, been here since I retired out of the Navy in 67, and then I retired from Delta. Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy, Happy birthday. Jones. How about that? My name is Don Crosby. I was born in Pahokee, Florida, Palm Beach County, mm -hmm. 1939. Moved to Atlanta in 1955. Moved to Las Vegas in 1965 and just came back to retire. Oh. Very good. Right, right. If you want a poker Happy player, birthday. this is the guy right oh, here. He's the one? Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't think I missed anybody, did I? I get everyone. Okay, well, happy, happy, happy <coughs> birthday. It's time to sing. Everybody sing. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. 